You know, a daily shooting here at Ruder Park is stirring up a conversation about safety at city-owned parks. And I actually had the opportunity to talk to a resident and a city official to get their input. Take a look. The whole thing is sad. Canine officers combing through the grass of Ruder Park nearly 24 hours after Lansing's third homicide of the year. This is not what our city is. Lansing police say they responded to the park Sunday evening right before 9, where they found the victim, a 48-year-old man with a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police do not believe the shooting was a random act. Here we are losing another, another human being. For whatever the reason was, it was silly. Nancy Malo is the president of the East Side Neighborhood Organization, a group that spends a lot of time trying to keep Lansing Park safe. She's wondering if this shooting could have been prevented. And one of the things that I'm a huge advocate in, in is more lighting and cameras. With today's technology, there's no reason why we can't put LED lights in our parks that cost practically nothing to light these parks up and to put cameras up. We went to the city with Nancy's concern. Parks Rec and Director Brad Kaczynski told us there are cameras in certain parks, but the specific locations just aren't promoted. We're not going to be disclosing where we're going to be putting specific parks. I mean, the number one rule of security in some of those situations is not to talk about that security. Now, police have identified the victim in the shooting as 48-year-old Lewis Hill, and this is obviously a pretty tough time for Lewis's family and people are always asking, what can I do to help out in situations like this? Well, you can always call the Lansing Police Department with any information you may have on the shooting. And one thing I do want to reiterate, whenever you call the Lansing Police Department or give them a tip, you can always remain anonymous. For now, reporting here in Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.